All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, 3.4, problem number 10. All right, so we want to find the uh, 1,300th derivative of this given function, x times e to the negative x. All right, so uh, we're going to take our uh, first few derivatives to see if we can uh, detect the pattern. All right, so let's find the first derivative. All right, so we have two things multiplied together. So x is the first guy, e to the negative x is the second guy. So using the product rule, uh, derivative of the first guy is 1 times the second guy, e to the negative x, plus first guy is x, and the derivative of the second guy is uh, e to the negative x, then using the chain rule, multiply by derivative of negative x would be negative 1. All right, so then uh, if you clean it up, you're going to get uh, this. Uh, so we have um, uh, e to the negative x is in common, so I'm going to pull that out. All right, so you have uh, e to the negative x. Then you would have uh, 1 from the first term then minus x. All right, so this is the first derivative. All right, so second derivative, so we take uh, this is the first guy and this is the second guy, All right? And uh, f prime, the f double prime of x is equal to, All right, so you have a derivative of the first guy is negative one times the second e to the negative x. Uh, plus, same thing, uh, 1 minus x, and then you have uh, e to the negative x, then multiply by its derivative, which, which is negative 1 again. All right, then if you clean it up, you're going to get uh, this. So again, uh, we have uh, e to the negative x, and the e to the negative x is in common. So I'll pull that out. All right. Then uh, we would have, let's see, so we have uh, uh, a 1 times negative 1 and a minus 1. So it's going to be minus 2. All right. Then negative 1 plus uh, uh, times uh, negative x would be plus x. All right. So we got that. All right, then uh, we take another derivative. I can't see the pattern, so uh, but um, let's do another derivative. All right, so uh, f triple prime. All right, so derivative of this guy, so first guy would be uh, 1. All right, then times uh, second guy e to the negative x plus first guy is negative 2 plus x. Then multiply by derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1. All right, so this is going to be, all right, so it's going to be negative uh, 2 times negative 1, so 2 plus 1, so it's going to be positive 3. And then negative uh, uh, 1 times x would be uh, negative x. All right, then you have uh, e to the negative x. All right, so it seems like uh, there's a pattern here. All right, so uh, we can see that, uh, for example, we have, um, I'm going to pull out the negative 1 here. So it's a negative 1. Then I'm going to put the x first. Then positive 1, put the negative 1, so it's going to be minus 1. All right, e to the negative x, right? Then next one, right? So we have uh, x minus 2 e to the negative x, right? And this one, I'm going to pull out the negative sign, negative 1. And then you have uh, x minus 3 e to the negative x, right? So uh, looks like um, the maybe I'll, I'll, I'll write this one um, 
here instead of just the neg write a negative one so it's going to be negative right and uh, here this guy is going to be negative there right so looks like uh, there's a pattern here so uh, if, for example if you take the fourth derivative right we know uh, all right, it's going to be sine is going to be always a negative, positive, negative. So the next one would be positive. Now you always have a x and a minus. All right, it looks like uh, you know first derivative you get one, and second derivative you get that two, and third derivative you get three. So it's a minus four. Then you have a e to the negative x all the time. All right. Then you can see that uh, so by following the pattern, if you take the 1300th derivative, right? So uh, of x is going to be, all right? So this is uh, when it's even, uh, it's positive. When it's odd, uh, it's negative. So it's even, so it's going to be positive. And x minus. Right, fourth derivative minus four, so it's a, a one thousand three hundredth derivative, so it's a minus one uh, thirteen hundred. Right, then you have a e to the negative x. Right, so uh, let's type it in. So we get um, x minus thirteen hundred e to the uh, negative x. Right. So let's uh, submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.